Hi, I'm Genevieve Dicing with HNHN. I'm here on behalf of the Association for Healthcare Volunteer Resource Professionals. I'm here with Nancy Agee, Chairman Elect for the American Hospital Association. Nancy, thank you for being with me here today. Oh, my pleasure. How can women find mentorship in healthcare leadership? You know, Jen, it's a really interesting question because I think mentorship and role models are so important in healthcare. And in particular, when we our wonderful volunteers get involved in healthcare and healthcare leadership and sort of advancing healthcare in their own hospital or across their communities or across this great land. So, um, from my in my own career, I really looked for people who I thought were outstanding in their fields. Um, and, and pretty diverse fields. So whether it was finance or nursing or medicine, and would they give me time just to think through what they were doing with them, ask questions. And in particular, I, I found a couple of people um, who were so gracious and who allowed me to shadow, uh, to spend some time just watching, observing, asking questions, being curious, and it made a huge difference in my own career. The other thing that I think was helpful personally and I advise people to do is to get involved in your community. And whether it's with the local theater board or the opera or art or you know, United Way, it's a way to extend your, um, your abilities into the community and hear back from the community, which makes such a difference then as you're applying that to the healthcare world. So there, I think there are lots of opportunities to find mentors, role models, and um, be a little creative in that approach. How would you say that the role of the healthcare volunteer is changing and is it changing? Such an interesting question. So let me tell you, first of all, that I was a youth volunteer. I was a candy striper. And um, it, it's, it was grounding for me even today. You know, I, I learned so much about the interactions with, um, with my superior, who was very clear about things I should be doing, and, and, uh, and then educating us volunteers about how we interact with patients and what the patient environment was like. And we spent a lot a lot of time, I did as a youth volunteer, actually working directly with patients, doing things like delivering mail, delivering snacks, uh, the, the book cart, uh, re really sort of hands-on. And I think our volunteers stu still do a tremendous amount of work there. The thing I've seen that's changed uh, over time or accelerated as our financial pressures um, continue and, and maybe also accelerate in healthcare is that the volunteers are wonderful at fundraising. They not only extend our resources and are such a great helping hand, um, but they actually go into the community and help raise funds for hospitals and health systems. Thank you. You're welcome.